You know, it's a shame that more apps don't have demos or trial versions available. Most of the time, the ratings on the App Store are a good indicator, but this doesn't help you much when a game's brand new. I can't tell you how much I've spent this year on completely forgettable games. Monsterthon falls very nicely into this category of mediocrity. It's very worrying when the first thing you see is a full screen ad. iPhone 5 support? Ha. Huh. Generic visuals, average sound effects, and uninspired music are the flavor of the day as you take your monsters on a rampage through the city. From what I can tell, the story involves a museum having these monsters as part of some sort of display. And the monsters weren't happy about that, I guess? The game leans heavily towards in-app purchases. You can power up each of the monsters to make them more useful if you're so inclined. There's a dinosaur available at the start and a mermaid and giant insect that are locked. The DNA cost, that's what this game uses as currency, was way too high for me to unlock these. To be honest, there was nothing at all about this title to keep me interested enough. I don't know, I mean, I'm not gonna rename this segment to I play the crap game so you don't have to, but it's just frustrating. Monsterthon is yet another game that is just a major letdown. It's boring. And when you consider that games like Minigore 2 are the same price, well, you can give this one a miss. Thanks for joining me today, folks. My name's Alex, and I'm out.